Hello friends and strangers, I am Heli and in this video I am taking you with me into Witchwood where we have come into the swamp to get us some Eye of Newt. So let's go find a rotting stump or branch or something. Here we go. And um, there's a newt. What was it? Yes, bait stick. I thought so. Let's craft a bait stick and hopefully we'll trap the newt and not a dragonfly. Yes, I was a bit worried with the uh, dragonfly appearing, but luckily the newt was the one who who uh, took the bait. Let's make this potion of blight. And now we have everything. Let's get back to the fields. And um, I wasn't exactly sure what to do next. The quest doesn't say, it just says to gather the ingredients. So I was thinking maybe we need to take the ingredients to the Oxy's farm and then the quest will update. But I mean clearly that is not the case. Nothing's happening. So right at about this point I remembered that we were going to make the withering potion in the watering can. So we need to go back to the other farm and put all the ingredients into the uh, big watering can and then the quest will update. So I was looking around for a potion, a, a withering potion here in my grimoire. But of course we don't actually get the recipe. We just dump all the ingredients into the watering can and then the potion will get made. So let's get going back to the other farm and we'll put all these ingredients into the watering can. Here we are. Just a little ways more to go. It'll take some work to break through the Scarecrow's magical boon but you're confident in your mastery of poisons. Nice. Those crops were made by magic, so too can they be unmade. Potion of Blight. You hold your breath and empty the poisonous vial into the container. The toxic fumes make your fingernails curl. Weird water. A good amount of weird water will dilute the poison, poison to keep it from eating straight through the metal can. Pumpkin Jack Bone You crush up the impish bone into fine powder. This potent fertilizer will help spread the blight. You find a hefty stick to mix all the ingredients together inside the watering can. 
You know your work is done when the stick dissolves into mush in your hands. The withering can is ready. Let's take it and go to the Oxy's farm. This way, I think. Uh, yes, there's a gap right there. Hey, I thought I told you to beat it. He raises his hoe and brandishes it at you menacingly. Right, I think that means we need to stay out of his reach. Right, two thirds done. And you watch the sickness spreading up the stalks to the very tips of the tallest leaves. Vivid greens turn to diseased browns as the crops bend and droop. No, what is happening? Harvest Master, we had a deal. You promised my crops would never fail. Dreadfully sorry. Looks like my magic is broken. Not my fault. The ox throws himself to the ground desperately raking the soil with his fingers. Wait, let's make a new deal, please. I sacrificed too much for this. A new deal? What is your offer? Anything you want. Just bring my precious crops back to me. Anything, hmm? This is acceptable. Worm-like roots suddenly wrap around the ox's feet and begin dragging him into the soil. Wait, I didn't mean... Yeah, you gotta be specific with these things. The dust settles over the spot where the ox once stood as if nothing had happened. Though the soil looks barren and diseased, a small sprout of leafy green catches your eye. Right? Where the ox once stood, a green tendril has pushed its way through the earth. You watch a delicate blossom unfurl, revealing a stubborn, hard-shelled seed, the soul of the ox. The souls of the bear, leech, snake and ox jostle in your satchel with fearful energies. That's that then. I better get these back home to the goat before he ransacks the rest of the place. Yeah, that's that for the ox's quest. The scarecrow again stands motionless. Standing at the front gate, the ox's missing wife and son blink in confusion, as if they had just burst forth from the earth itself. Ma? What happened? Ah, welcome back. I suppose you don't remember much. He really did it, didn't he? That stupid festival prize was worth more to him than us. Where is he? Where is my husband? Don't fret, I've already set things straight. He won't be troubling you again. And you've got this nice fertile farm all to yourself now. My son and I worked ourselves to the bone for that horrible man. Thank you for lifting this curse. Just do me a favor. 
and don't make any deals with suspicious scarecrows. Well, somehow I feel that they won't. Let's get back home with these souls and see what happens next. There's the portal. Now we just need to find the goat. He did like to hang out around here, but I don't see him now. Is he perhaps inside the house? He is not out here. He is not in here either. Oh, oh. You know where he probably is? The shrine. Yeah. He's not out here and he's not in the house. He's gotta be in the shrine. The goat rears its head at the sight of you. Its hooves pound the ground excitedly. Most excellent. I can sense the presence of spirits about you. You must have captured the souls I have asked for. No small task, I can tell you that. Just what do you plan on doing with them? Oh, this and that. Nothing you must concern yourself with. What's important is that you are one step closer to fulfilling your contract with me. Just go ahead and place them in the shrine there. I'll take care of the rest. The goat shakes its head towards a carved relief at the back of the room, grinning in a horrible way that no goat should. You approach the shrine and open your satchel. Stuffed bear. As you bring the stuffed bear close to the carved stone relief in the wall, it spontaneously bursts into flames in your hands, burning away until only a harsh red stone remains. The stone zips out of your grasp and straight into a socket on the wall, buzzing like some angry insect. You are buffeted by flashes of the bear's wrath. Drunken roaring, cowering bodies, splintered wood, the smell of honey. Dried worm. As with the first, the mummified husk of the leech turns to ash as you bring it close to the wall, leaving only a glowing orb in its place. Images of the leech slither into your mind, the prick of a needle, the drip, drip, drip of draining fluids, soothing words, restless sleep. Cracked mirror. Prismatic colors flash through your head at the thought of the snake. Secrets lapped up by a forked tongue, whispers beneath the sound of festivities. Hardened seed. The ox brings with him the overbearing heat of the midday sun, the salty tang of sweat in the soil, suffering, sacrifice, solitude. You step away from the shrine and its smoldering stones. Your burdens suddenly feel much lighter. 
beside you, the sleeping maiden stirs in her slumber, but does not wake. Now then, you had a very long day, why don't you get some rest? Tomorrow we shall pick up bright and early. Yes, I am quite tired. And I guess it is the next day. Let's go out there. Ah, good morning, my swamp lily. I trust you slept well. Like the dead. You stretch out your back, making a sound like snapping twigs. Well, no time to dilly-dally, I sense the next four souls on our list. You must travel east, out of the forest and towards civilization. Ugh, I hate crowds. Well, it can't be helped. You must seek out these souls in the village, the market, the docks and the graveyard. Hmm, the graveyard might at least be a reprieve from chattering townsfolk. Alright goat, I'll bring you your souls. You seem much more reasonable today. Have a change of heart perchance? If these next four are anything like the last, they'll get what's coming to them. I'm glad we have reached an understanding. Yep, I'm right with you there, sister. The first four souls totally deserved. Um, whatever's going to happen to them. Right, so east of the forest. So I guess we go into the forest and then go east. Let's try that. Just pick the path that leads east. I, yep to the village. Exciting to discover a new place. Trowel. We get a cobblestone and an iron nail. Nothing to see here, ma'am. This anxious little dog attempts to frantically get a town guard's attention as they stand watch in front of the smoking ruins of a burnt down shop. Please, you have to listen to me. My friend is missing. The guard stifles a yawn, annoyed at having to work. Oh yeah? And what's your friend look like? The sleeves of the sheepdog's oversized sweater flail about comically. She's about yay tall, wears a green vest, has black wool. So she's one of them sheep, huh? Probably just got lost. You know, them types ain't too bright. She didn't get lost. She's gone missing. Her wool shop was burnt down on purpose. Can't you smell it in the air? Calm down, sir. We're investigating the situation, but I'm sure this fire was a simple accident. I bet your friend just left the kettle on or something. Why don't you check with the ram in the town square? If anyone knows where a lost sheep is, it's probably him. How can you say that? Everyone knows that the ram hates the black sheep. Look at all these footprints. I bet his goons had something to do with this. 
Listen, you're starting to get on my nerves. Just leave this to the professionals, all right? He turns away from the dog and goes back to doing absolutely nothing. Professionals indeed. They couldn't find a fish in a frying pan. I better look into this funny business myself. Right, so we need to find the town square. Uh, let's have a look around. Pockets ripe for plucking. And of course, we'll dig up anything we can along the way. Ow! Oh. Okay, so those are hostile. And wow, they really come after you. Pickpocket wants what's yours. Weaknesses, shiny lure. Right? So, already learned something. Stay away from pickpockets. They are dangerous. What was that thing up there? That's something we can interact with. We need a trowel. Well, we have one, but that pickpocket is awfully close to it. I don't think we'll have enough time to use a trowel before the pickpocket attacks. This looks like the town square. And that looks like the ram. Listen closely, brothers and sisters. We must wear our wool proudly and show the world that plain is best. That's right, plain wool is the best wool. All of these outlandish colors and head-splitting patterns do nothing but confuse and enrage the senses. They are the product of misled individuals. And as we all know, individuals are weak. Only the united are strong. Together, we speak louder than a single voice. Wait, are all the colors bad then? What about grey? It's almost plain white. Grey is forbidden. Grey is a gateway to blue. And where there's blue, green isn't far behind. And what's next? Yellow, purple, even red? Ooh, no! Anything but red. No! Always remember, colors lead to discord, to chaos. And with chaos, the wolves will come for us all. Aye, not the wolves! Watch out! There's one right there. The nearest sheep nearly jumps out of its fleece when it notices you. I'm not a wolf, you half-wits. Maybe not, but you're different. And that's just as bad. Uh, right, boss? That's right. So what is it an outsider wants with us? Are you here to tempt my flock with your anarchic ideals? I doubt you lot would have room in your heads for any more ideals. But no, I'm here looking for the black sheep. It seems her shop was burnt down last night. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Bah, that bother some black sheep is a thorn in my side. Never heed my warnings. 
always goes against what's good and proper. But I assure you, I was tending my flock all night, so I had nothing to do with her disappearance. That little sheepdog begs to differ. He says you've always had it out for the black sheep, and I'm inclined to believe him with all your prattling. Lies and slander. You have no proof of any wrongdoing. For all we know, she may have just left the kettle on. As the sheep stomp about, you notice flakes of ash, leaving black marks on the cobblestones of the village square. Proof, eh? Looks to me like some of your flock have sooty feet. I wonder where this suspicious trail will lead. Let's find out. Hmm... There's some soot right there, I think. And we need the revealing powder. Unveiling powder. Luckily, we have plenty of ingredients for it. It seems someone wised up to the ash they were trailing and shook off the rest. You sprinkle the revealing powder over the cobblestones to reveal hidden footprints, still blackened by ash. It appears as though several individuals were dragging something away from the town square last night. Let's follow the trail then. And while we go, we may as well dig these up and uh, try and avoid the pickpocket. There we go, successfully avoided it. Apparently we need more unveiling powder. A struggle must have occurred here. You find the remnants of a torn burlap sack and some scattered fistfuls of wool. The footprints leading away look to be moving at great speed, like someone was being chased. Let's see where they lead. Ooh, there's something we can dig up. Right? They seem to stop here. A pair of lone footprints stuck into this vegetable garden. You notice some more footprints searching in confused directions farther afield. The black sheep must have been trying to hide from her pursuers. Maybe she managed to throw them off her trail? Well, I certainly hope so. religious mob like that. Oh, a rat. A trap. Maybe a simple snap trap will do the trick. Let's see. Yep. Uh-huh. 
After following the ashen trail through the back streets, you come to a dead end. Your only company is a stone gargoyle squatting atop a building corner. You stand on your tiptoes to examine the great carved demon closer, noting the lovely knitted scarf billowing around its neck. Hmm, what a fine garment. I could do with a new one. It's starting to get chilly. I just hope it hasn't got any of that bird poo on it. As you reach up to unwrap the scarf, the gargoyle's eyes swivel in their sockets with a sound like two grinding millstones. Well, excuse me. I'm quite fond of this avian excrement, actually. It adds a touch of authenticity to the whole ensemble, don't you think? Oh, I beg your pardon. I didn't realize I was speaking to a watcher. Ha, huh, a watcher? Why is it that no one ever comes to watch me? I'm handcrafted from the finest block of artisanal granite. So masterfully chiseled that I came to life. Nothing on this earth or beyond has a greater claim to beauty than I. And yet, day after day, I sit up here and no one gives me so much as a passing glance. Well, maybe if you cleaned up once in a while. Oh, hush. I don't need to take fashion tips from you. And besides, you only looked up at me because of this fabulous scarf. Admit it. I was merely following this trail of sooty footprints. But now that you mention it, that scarf has a fine need to it. You didn't happen to get it from the black sheep, did you? Why, where else would I have gotten something so swanky in this, this dreary little town? That black sheep is the only other person around here that appreciates good taste. Unlike that ghastly ram, always ringing that gaudy bell of his and poo-pooing everyone else's fun, this world is alive and needs a good splash of color once in a while. You know where the black sheep is then? Now hold on, how do I know that you aren't another agent of banality like the ram? Just look at that skirt, so last century. You'll have to prove you're an ally of the fashion scene before I say another word. Now, I've had my eyes on some new shoes for ages. Why don't you just snag a pair from the village? Surely no one will notice. Bah, those clogs aren't fit for a horse. No, I've got my heart set on elf shoes. Delicate, dainty, exquisite, and absolutely to die for. Plus, I could do with a nice hat to go with my fetching scarf and maybe some needle and thread to do some alterations. Well, what are you waiting for? The fashion scene moves too quickly to stand around idle. Elf shoes, sewing kit and gnome hat. Three shoes. Huh. So, uh, elf shoes from the village, sewing kit we can craft, and a gnome hat from the fields, right? There's that sewing kit. Let's look into getting these other items next time and, uh, Save here for now. If you like this video, please leave it a like. 
and if you'd like to support my efforts here on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. It is quick and easy and doesn't cost you a thing, but it does help me a lot. Thanks so much for watching. I wish you a lovely rest of your day and I hope to see you in the comments below.